morning guys my name is andrea i'm a stay-at-home mom and to a 10 month old uh, baby and today i'm here to share with you eight ideas on how to make a side income while being a stay-at-home mom or um, a side income if you're already a full-time mom and you're struggling with childcare costs if you're struggling with that and you want ideas on how you can help your family make more money on the side and what you can do um, then this is the right video for you they're very easy and you only need your phone and wi-fi in order to be able to start doing these things so if you're ready let's go First thing first, this is the easiest thing you can do, um, which is sell the baby items that you don't need anymore. Um, whether that's a uh, baby clothes that are too small for your baby, um, anything that you don't find useful anymore, that you haven't been using and it's just been sat there, like just taking a space in your house or in your garage or in your loft, just sell it, put it up on Facebook Marketplace, um, eBay, uh, Vintage, like there is so many places out there where you can sell baby items and it can actually make you such a good side income for the mom. So I think that's a very good idea and that's something that you can do very quickly and very easily by just taking a couple of pictures and then uploading them onto these apps. Idea number two is to start a blog. And I know that starting a blog sounds very um, old fashioned, but it's actually like such a good way of making you money. You don't realize how much Google pays you for putting ads in your blogs. Like think about a cooking blog, like when you look up a recipe and you go onto their blog and there is like all these ads, they scroll through like so many ads and they get so much money for those ads to be placed there, especially if you get a lot of viewers. Um, a way to get viewers is to connect um, your blog to Pinterest um, and again Pinterest is very underrated but Pinterest is actually such a good platform because you can um, put something on Pinterest and put the link to your blog so people that are actually interested in reading about it click on the link that takes them to your blog that way you get viewers and more viewers means more money because there is more people watching their ads on your blog have a look into it start your own blog start writing about your hobbies or um your daily life or anything you like and you're interested in it and they want that you want to share with people uh, you can make money out of that and it's it's just very easy to start right away if you have a phone and a wi-fi another thing that you can do instead of writing a blog would be writing a book I know that writing a book doesn't feel like anyone can do that kind of thing, but think about it. You can sell books online and they don't have to be printed anymore. If before you had to write, like to write a book, you would have to spend the money um, in order for the book to be printed and um, for the front page to be done and everything like that. You don't need that anymore. You can just start writing your own book about anything you like, um, your hobbies or your everyday life or um, tips and advice on how to be a parent. You can just make it into a book and then you can sell it online and make it a digital like a digital file instead of an actual book that you can buy so basically people are just going to buy the digital product instead of the actual book that way you have no costs you're, sh you're selling it online to people and people are just going to get a pdf download of your file but you're not spending any money so if people buying it even if you're selling it for like four pounds five pounds that that's gonna make you an income because you didn't spend anything to to write next idea is to um do small jobs on freelance freelance websites so like sell your services if you're um if you have any skills in graphic design um or um copywriting or anything like that you like things that you can do online for people you can put your services on a freelance website and sell it to people if you're a photographer or anything like that and you have any skills that you can sell to people i would be doing it for example i know how to do graphic design so i can put my profile up on um my profile up on um on a freelance website and sell my services to people so people will be asking me to make a logo for them or a, um, a front page for them and i can do that and they'll be they'll be paying me for doing it but i don't actually have any extra costs because i can do that from my laptop 
uh, at home and I can do that in the evening after my baby's gone to sleep or I can do that at the weekend when my partner can look after the baby and you can you can make money by just doing small jobs uh, as a freelancer instead of having a full-time job and then it might actually become your full-time job one day if you wanted to but it's a great way of starting out with small jobs here and there if you have anything that you can sell online to people like a service that you you can do online for people that that's a great way of making money and it, as i said it can turn out um being your full-time job one day which is i think is great and um, and then of course um at the end of your maternity leave uh you you might have to go back to work but you could also become a childminder i know that i say this easily but if you're really looking after your child you might actually want to uh you might actually want to look after two or two or three children to start with i mean you have to do a course and everything you need to get the right certification you probably need to have the right um outside space and your house need to be uh, like you, you know it's, it's a long process to, to be a child mind it's not like you can just become a child mind straight away but it's also like you can be at home with your baby and look after other people's babies and they can all play together and at the same time you're making money um, by looking after your child uh, and doing like you know spending that time with them but also looking after other people's babies i think it's a great way of making money if you're good with children and if you like to look after children uh, and you want to spend time at home with your own child but um don't know how to go about it because you need to make an income i think becoming a child man minder and taking um two or three kids um on top of yours and maybe like even if it's for a couple of hours, that would make you good money and um, it's just a great way to go about it. And again, that can also become your full-time uh, job one day if you wanted to. Do. Um, and I think it's just a great way of, you know, just making money on the side. Um, and then there is this one, which is a bit more complicated, but you can start your online business on Etsy. Um, again, you don't need a physical product um, to sell. You can sell a digital product, so you can be making... Uh, filters for pictures you can be making uh, any graphic uh, design thing like files for people to download and people can pay for these files to be downloaded like i bought um, stuff from etsy that had to like digital files and you don't it doesn't need to be a physical product um, in order for you to sell it but then again if you're good at i don't know like um um personalizing baby items like you can just buy lots of white ba uh, body suits and then you personalize them with names and stuff and you want to sell that on etsy you can do that and it's quite an easy process if you know how to do that so anything that you have a skill set for you can use it um, and sell it on etsy and make your online uh, shop so you can have an online shop on etsy and sell your digital product or your physical product based on what kind of thing you want to do but again i think that's a great way of doing things because etsy is the online platform you can sell on um, where they take the least percentage so i know amazon and ebay and other platforms they take 20 percent or 30 percent of your income but i think etsy has the lowest percentage um, and if you sell quite a lot of what you're selling then you you can actually make a lot of money on etsy uh, by doing that and it's so easy to start your online shop you can literally just log on to etsy um, start your online shop straight away and start selling your products it is a great way of doing things um, and you can just find your own idea and do it straight away and then of course i'm going to talk about starting your own youtube channel um, which is also what i did um, we all know that youtube after you reach a certain amount of followers sorry after you reach a certain amount of subscribers and uh, watch hours, YouTube is gonna start paying you um, for your revenue. So like you're gonna put ads on your videos and YouTube is gonna pay you for them. It of course all goes on to how many views you're getting and how many subscribers you've got. And it is not an easy road making YouTube uh, videos is probably like the longest way of making money out of all of the ones that I just um, described um, but it's a it's a good way of making money if you're planning to do it long term you need to be very consistent um, and it's probably going to take you a couple of years to make a good amount of money on this side uh, so last but not least is going to be to um, do online surveys 
Um, I only found out about this one a couple of months ago, um, but online surveys, it's, it's a, a great way of making money because people are only asking your opinion and for you to complete this online service is probably going to take you a half hour to an hour. You just have to give your opinion on things and you're getting paid for it. Um, so I think if you just Google like online surveys for money, for cash or something like that, it's going to come up with lots of websites. You can put your details in because they need to, they need to know, you know, like um, your gender, they need to know um, who you are and why you're buying the product or why you're doing a certain thing in order for them to figure out like that's, that's how a survey works you need to give the, your details to um to the website and then they they will give you surveys that you need to go through and and respond to so like you need to answer all these questions and stuff complete a survey and then they're gonna pay you a certain amount depending on how you do it if you do the online ones they're probably like you only make like five to fifteen pounds um but then if you do the actual like video chat with someone giving you your opinions and your ideas um you can actually make up to a hundred pounds or like 120 um just for sitting there and giving your opinions um to someone and that can be made in like two hours of your time at tops and I think it's just a great way like you literally just have to sit there um, tell someone what you think about their idea or the product or the service and just be honest um, with them um, you can do that online or you can, as I said you can do a video call or sometimes they might ask you to just do a phone call and by you just sitting there on the phone for an hour you're gonna get 100 pounds just just like that <laughs> it's just so quick and easy and um, so you can look into that there's so many websites that do it so just just do your research and see which one fits you best uh, but that's just very quick and easy and i just think it's a great way of having a quick uh, turnaround and you know money coming in if you need to um so i think this is it for today these are my uh, these are my eight ideas on how you can make money on maternity leave I wish you all the luck because it's so hard to be looking after our baby while trying to make money on the side um, to support your family while trying to do everything else and also enjoy yourself and have some time for yourself. It is very, very hard and it's a very tight schedule. So I do hope my video helped you. If so, let me know in the comments. Also, remember to subscribe, leave a like and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and bye bye.